Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Wall Tutorials, I'm Koichi GZ, and in this video I want to take a look at uh, one of the three new features of the 5th uh, anniversary event. So that is going to be the small medals, the Chisana medal. So more information about this is going to be found in our notice section and going to be right over here. So uh, pretty much in the, my first look video on the 5th anniversary event i did touch upon this new feature in the game but i do have some new information to share about it so uh the small metals feature has now made its appearance in the world of dragon quest walk so you will be collecting the small metals from across the various areas of japan and taiwan which you can or which can be used for getting lavish rewards so uh pretty much like i mentioned previously the small metals are going to be hidden throughout the field and recovery spots but you have a very rare chance of finding them so uh the best option is going to be to tap on as many recovery spots as you can in order to find them so uh in this case the small metals feature will have seasons and there will be updates for each season so pretty much right here we're going to have information about those seasons and the times of them so here we're going to have uh the small metal spring season which is going to be from march 12th to uh, 3 p.m to june 12th to 59 p.m we're going to have the small metal summer season which is june 12th 3 p.m to september 12th 2 59 p.m we're gonna have the small metals fall season which is going to be june or september 12th uh to uh 3 p.m to december 12th uh 2 59 p.m and we're going to have the small metals winter season which is going to be from december 12th 3 p.m to march 12th 2 59 p.m so uh something else please understand that there may be changes to positions of where you find metals uh depending on the uh, deletion and addition of recovery spots in game so um if you've been playing the game as long as i have you have noticed that uh, there have been uh, some changes uh to uh where recovery spots have actually popped up so definitely you need to worry uh need to be careful about that then over here also like i mentioned in the first look video there will be a very rare uh, recovery spots that shine on the field which indicate that there is a small metal in that recovery spot so there are going to be two conditions uh in which a recovery spot will shine on the field so um the first is that another player has already tapped on the recovery spot and received a small metal from it and then also the second one is going to be no one has discovered the small metal and some time has passed uh since uh no one has even uh tapped on it so um yeah those are going to be the two conditions there so uh yeah so find these shining recovery spots that appear on the field to pretty much guarantee yourself a small metal then uh besides that recovery spots that have small metals in them will have uh will be the same for all users so different players will be able to get a small metal from the same spot then uh so pretty much if a one user actually gets a small metal from one spot um it doesn't mean that that metal is gone it's still going to be there but uh, a different player can tap on it and get a medal from that that is why um it again that's why the uh recovery spot will be shining so then also when a recovery spot meets one of the requirements for it to shine the recovery spots closest to you will be the ones that you see shining on the field then over here, after collecting the small metals, go to Rika's Inn and interact with the Metal King by tapping on the small metals icon. So with the number of metals that you collect, you will be able to get various rewards, which include right over here, the Metal King Sword and uh, Limited Accessories. So in uh, the first look video, I actually called this the Metal King Sword m-e-t-a-l so thinking that you actually get another metal king sword from this but it's actually the metal king sword so m-e-d-a-l so um this is completely different sword they look exactly the, almost exactly the same but different completely different um uh abilities as well 
but um, I will talk about this in a little bit. So uh, pretty much besides that, there will be two different types of rewards that you will be getting here. So um, you're going to be getting uh, cumulative rewards and also season rewards. So with season rewards, uh, you will uh, will reset when a new season begins. So you want to get or try to get all of the medals necessary to get all the rewards for that season. Then besides that, um, I went over the Metal King Sword. So here uh, in the uh, small medals uh, feature, uh, the players will who have collected the most medals will be ranked and you will be able to see the ranking at Mika's Inn. So uh, pretty much those who appear in this ranking will be known as medalists and you will be able to get a special title for your profile by collecting a certain number of small medals. So uh, the ranking uh, will be divided by prefecture. So the prefecture that you have your in-game home in will be the prefecture that you are ranked in. So uh, in regards to the special title, uh, the special title that you see here it means a uh, first class medalist. Uh, the special title will only be available uh, to display in your profile until one month after the season that you originally got the title and has finished. So that's going to be that there. Then uh, right over here, as you can see, um, there is actually going to be a forging stone for the Metal King Sword. So that means you can actually upgrade this in the forge. So uh, with this, this is actually going to be done just one season at a time. So for the fall season, you'll get one uh, rank, Kai rank one. And the uh, winter season, you'll be able to get up to Kai rank two. So pretty much going to all the way up to, I believe, was probably going to just be four. So you actually want to go ahead and actually uh, try to complete uh, all the uh, necessary things you need to do to uh, com to fully uh, upgrade uh, the Metal King Sword. So definitely, uh, please give that a try. Uh, so good. So now what I want to do is actually go to uh, Aurika's end just to show you what it's like. So I'll see you there soon. Okay, so now I'm at Rika's end, so you can see uh, here uh, this little new icon right over here. This is going to be the small metals icon. So pretty much over here, if I tap on it, you're going to see uh, the Metal King here. So here I have already exchanged uh, my uh, actual Metal King coins already, but here it actually does uh, have some information about... Um, the rewards that you can get and uh, the actual medals that you've had. So pretty much in this pretty much in this season, I have collected 87 uh, medals. I need three more to get uh, my next reward for the season uh, for the fall season uh, rewards list. So here for this rewards list, if you go take a look, you have three, four. You actually have five cards for this so pretty much the max amount of medals that i can collect for this season is going to be 400 so uh yeah that's going to be that there then over here this is going to be where the uh, cumulative metal rewards are so you can actually go ahead and take a look at them here so pretty much um if you just keep going down the list you're going to get a couple of things here it says 235 uh, for this one here. So this is going to give you uh, certain rewards. Uh, some of these rewards are actually are going to be um, uh, damage bonuses for different attributes in the game. So uh, for example, increases to uh, plus 1% to meta damage, Gita damage, uh, then some uh, soul pearl boxes as well then also here we're going to get uh, the ruby pierce so a new accessory so with this this gives you a uh, plus five to your max hp plus five to your max mp and plus five to meta damage so that's going to be that there then uh, down the line we're also going to have some other stuff as here so here this is going to be the battle masters uh Uh, pretty much like a uh, special uh, technique scroll so in this case um, when equipped it gives the battle master uh, plus four percent to uh, the critical hit rate so only available so that's only good for on a battle master so the advanced class 
but uh, pretty much everything else here. Here, this is going to be the Megante ring. So with this, uh, Megante is something that we have gone over in the past. This is actually where you actually uh, throw away your life in order to do uh, damage to all enemies. So that's going to cost 200 MP. So I, I haven't had any uh, reason to use this particular uh, uh, ability. But um, if you're in a tight spot, it actually can be um, uh, useful. If, like I said, if you're in a tight spot though. But uh, besides that, there are actually some other things that you will be able to get down the line. But uh, definitely, I will go over them when I get the chance. And like I said before, you're going to have a ranking, which is going to be found in the top left corner over here. So in this case, for the ranking, I'm probably not very high at all. So pretty much this is giving um, all the rankings for uh, the prefecture that you are in. So um, pretty much um, you will actually be able to get on this list. It looks like if um, you have collected uh, 200 uh, of the coins, you'll be able to actually get over 200 or more uh, you'll be have collected you'll be able to really be able to get on that metal list so um, pretty much that's going to be everything here for Dika's in so um, yeah besides that uh, yeah we're just going to go ahead and close out of here so yeah so that's pretty much going to be it for this uh, video so I will be going over the other two features uh, later on hopefully within the next week but i will be going over um again uh grain all as well do another grain all video and also go over the new elite enemy slash hooker ruler which will be coming out on uh the 19th so please stay tuned for that but with that said i'm going to go ahead and end this video here so thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like if you'd like to see more please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video